First we'll type du to get the disk usage of our current folder. But whoa, that's a lot of stuff. This time we'll try passing dash s, which is an overall summary. Hmm, that's a big number. Let's try that again, but with dash h to get something human readable. Ah, so 2.1 gigabytes. We'll do that again, but this time pass an asterisk. And now we see the total summary of each subfolder. The dash s is a shorthand for indicating a depth of zero. To show this, we could swap it with a depth of zero and see the same results. So now we can adjust our depth to one and see a slightly deeper view of our subfolders and their disk usage. At any of these points, you could take one of these folders and decide to manually delete them. But let's try another tool called Dust. We'll install it with Brew. By default, Dust only lists as many folders as it can display in the terminal height, and it displays from bottom up. So we have 2.1 gigabytes, and the React Fun folder is the biggest at 1.1 gigabytes. However, it seems the biggest part of that is the Puppeteer folder under the node modules at 198 megabytes. We could run Dust again, but this time constrain the results to items larger than 500 megabytes. Another tool that I enjoy is called NCDU, so let's install it from Brew. We'll kick off the tool by typing NCDU and let it do its thing. It'll scan through your file system gathering stats. Then you can interactively navigate through your file system, sorted by size, and delete items if you so choose. If you like this video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribing, and hitting the bell for more content.